Let's now get you the latest from China. The COVID-19 outbreak in the city of Shanghai, the financial capital, has now reported more than 22,000 new cases in 24 hours. And China has put the city under a strict lockdown under its zero COVID tolerance policy. Horrifying videos have emerged from Shanghai. They've been making the rounds on social media as well. Residents can be heard screaming from their windows. <laughs> Under the strict policy, residents are not allowed to leave their homes even for food. The video is from one of the biggest residential compounds in the city. A video circulating on social media shows people yelling from their windows after being confined to their homes for almost a week. And amid all the chaos, the United States has asked all its non-emergency consulate staff and their family members to leave Shanghai. And this order has irked the foreign ministry of China, which has once again bashed America for quote-unquote smearing China. We express strong dissatisfaction and firm opposition to the U.S. politicizing and instrumentalizing the issue of personal evacuation. We have lost stern representations with the U.S. side. The U.S. should immediately stop criticizing China's epidemic prevention policy, stop using the epidemic to engage in political manipulation, and stop smearing China. But it is not just the number of infections that China has to worry about as of now. The city is now facing an acute shortage of food supplies. The government provided food kits, which seemed to be successful in China's first zero-COVID policy. But now, China faces empty supermarket shelves, inadequate delivery of food kits, and overwhelmed commercial services. And one of the reasons for this crisis may be the inconsistent COVID action plans, as rapidly changing strategies would not help delivery services and shops plan in advance. Secondly, well-to-do citizens have started to hoard the food supplies in order to save themselves from hunger. And finally, the desire to keep the city isolated has affected truck services. Drivers are being forced to undergo two-week quarantines and are demanding a hike in their salary or even refuse to drive down to Shanghai, which has now broken the crucial supply <laughs> Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.